Well, we're here at the Smart Energy Expo 2021 at the Gen Z stand, and I'm here with Dennis in front of this inverter and battery system. So, Dennis, uh, do you make inverters? No, we don't make inverters. This is Electronics, one of our uh, closest development partners. And what do you make? We make batteries. <laughs> that was a bit of a Dorothy Dix from me. Yeah, of course I knew you made batteries because I've got some at my lab and I've had them for a long time. You in do? Fact, I think I did one of the first uh, putting two different technologies together. I had an Occult and a Gen Z system. And what I learned there was that lithium batteries rock over lead. They're just high performance. In fact, pairing the two together meant I could get really great uh, discharge rates out of an old system. So lithium batteries, that's all you do? We do lithium batteries. Everything is a LFP battery, mm -hmm. um, and we concentrate on the rack mount and also some of the plastic case batteries. Right, so the rack mount are uh, modular batteries. What sort of sizes do they come in? We got two kilowatt and three kilowatt. Uh, we have them both in 48 volts and 24 volts. So are they three kilowatts of power and three kilowatt hours of storage? There are three kilowatt hours of storage, yep. and they, uh, in terms of the, the voltage, it's uh, 48 volts, 24 volts. Now, do they work with one particular inverter, like Cell Electronic, or can you work with others? No, that's the beauty. Um, they're actually, they all have internal BMSs, so they actually work with any uh, inverter that's out there. Um, traditionally, we uh, recommend this electronics because we have a drop-down menu in this electronics that you see the three kilowatt, two kilowatt battery. You put in the number of batteries, and uh, basically uh, about three or four uh, settings, and you're way to, way to go. It's already preset with uh, our uh, set points in there. So because I understand these batteries quite well, these are a self-managed battery. You don't need a, a communication data cable that talks to the inverter. You just connect them with plus and minus, and the internal BMS looks after safety and performance. You're absolutely correct. The, connect, the only connection we actually have in these particular uh, models is the positive and negative. Right, that's pretty simple. And they're modular, so I guess you could start with one or two or three or four and then add more later on. We have many customers that start off with um, two or three batteries. In fact, uh, some of the micro houses only have one battery and they uh, graduate to where they want to be. So yeah, that is certainly one of the uh, unique selling points of the battery. Actually, one of my applications with Gen Z at the lab was uh, we've got a tiny house with someone living in it, Correct. and uh, they had a rather terrible lead acid system. It was new, but it really faded quickly. It was one of those, you know, truck batteries sold as deep cycle. And so what we did, we paralleled first one, then two Gen Zs with it. Sweet. The lead acid has been put out to pasture. It's still there, still parallel, but doing virtually nothing. And the Gen Zs take over. So I was pretty excited by being able to extend the life of a, an existing lead acid system. Yeah. Well, we actually uh, tell people that this is a lead acid replacement. It's a full lead acid replacement, and that's the whole idea of not having the communication layer on there. Um, if people swap them out and put them in, whether it's your boat, your car, um, you can take a lead acid out, put it in. The only difference is the charging parameters. You may have to change your charger. Yeah, slightly different maximum voltage, minimum voltage. Uh, usual story of any batteries, basically, is find out what the charging parameters are and yeah. make them happen. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, thanks, Dennis. That's great. Okay. Thanks for coming by. No worries. Cheers.